Hey guys, so as you probably know, if you've been watching my social media, I came out with, in conjunction with Art Foamies, I have a line of Art Foamy stamps. So I have the zombie stamp and that it actually comes in a pair like this in two sizes, small and large. I have some bones stamps, a large and a small which can be used in conjunction with the zombie stamp. We have arrows. We have this one, three women celebrating. And it comes with the cutouts. And am I the only one that sort of thinks they look like chili peppers? <laughs> um, so yeah, so you get that one. We have the moons, great background stamp. We have this one, I don't remember what she calls it right now, but if I can find it, I'll insert it here. The proper names for all of these here, uh, underneath each one of them, and there'll be links to the page with all of my Art Foamy stamps in the description below uh, on the Art Foamy's website. And then we have this one, this is Vine. So um, we're gonna do some jelly printing um, with these. I um, did some jelly printing with them when they first came in, and um, I didn't film it and made some really cute prints out of it and also took one of those prints and did a journal page out of it, which is gonna be the video after this one. Um, but I just kinda of wanted to show you what I was doing. We're gonna get a couple different camera angles. We're gonna speed through the process because you all know how to jelly print, right? I've got my jelly gouache next to me and I've got some dollar store um, drawing paper, which is my favorite thing to print on. I have a cookie sheet with a damp a rag on it to wipe off um, or keep moist the stamps so that um, no paint dries on them, although I will be printing with them but then also stamping off with them too. Um, and we're using the 5x7 jelly plate because I find making prints with this one is perfect um, for fitting into my moleskin old moleskin planner that I use as an art journal. So it's the perfect size for my art journal. So anyway, we're gonna get to it and I'll be right back.
Okay guys, so these are um, all the jelly prints I made today and the one, some of the ones I made the other day. I have found with these Art Foamy stamps that more often than not, I'm printing them off, whether with ink or with paint. And then as you saw, I'm cutting the pieces of drawing paper in half. Again, it's just dollar store drawing paper. Um, and I find that I'm embellishing the stamp with lines and marks. As you can tell, I sort of have a love-hate relationship with my white gel pens. But anyway, it's a different video, different conversation. Um, and I find that I'm inspired by um, the different prints to actually do some journaling or writing on the print. And on this one, I did it a couple of times. I like the way it finally turned out, um, especially because I wasn't sure the first time I spelled one of the words right. Um, sometimes I don't write anything. Sometimes I don't do anything. Um, and I just love having a stack of these laying around with journaling or without. And then when I want to do something in my art journal, I can find one of these that fits the mood and or message, the mood I'm in and or message I want to convey. And I can use that print in my journal. Sometimes as just like a background sometimes as a focal point. These are just scrap pieces of paper. This is just a stamp off of, you can faintly see the arrows on there. It was kind of leftover jelly print paint. This is brayer, brayer, rubbing off my brayer. Um, and I'm really having a fun time using them and using them in my journals. I have a video coming out after this one of me using a print that you actually don't see here. I'll insert a picture of it here before I used it in my journal. And um, yeah, I really like that. This is the one I might use next because I have some ideas for him. Um, this is the um, three women with the um, sort of leafy pattern in the background. This is the chili peppers, the cutouts from between the women with the vine. So there's a lot of possibilities with not only my art foamies, but all of the art foamies on the art foamies website. Um, go check it out and um, you know, see what you think and um, play with them if you already own them. And um, whatever other stamps or mark making tools that you have in your stash, make yourself a little stack of prints um, that you've maybe sat and embellished. Maybe that's just all you feel like doing that for that day. Nothing wrong with that. Then s set them aside and the next time you want an art journal, look at them and see if one of them works for you, either for the background or the focal point. I love doing this. Anyway, up next, we are gonna see me working on that journal page and I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Check out the video description for relevant links and ways to support the free content here on YouTube and over in the Facebook art groups. And that's it for now. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.